adventure will finally be upon us on November 20th. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword represents a substantial leap forward for the series. You'll have to wait until next week for our final verdict, but what we've played so far has been a brilliant melding of tradition and innovation, and just might end up being the series' magnum opus. Skyward's visuals are unassumingly gorgeous. They make full use of the Wii's limited hardware and bring this enormous world to life in a painterly art style that evokes all of the Hyrules that came before. Don't let the lack of HD fool you. Much like Wind Waker, this art style should easily stand the test of time. Skyward is the perfect reminder that a game doesn't have to look realistic to be beautiful. The enormous scope of the world is truly impressive, and yet it's positively bustling with life, with tons of new characters full of personality. New species like the Kikwi and Magwa feel as at home as Gorons and Zora. I truly hope to see them return in future installments. The series lore is also greatly expanded on and explained in Skyward, something Zelda fans especially should be terribly excited for. The cutscenes in Skyward are especially noteworthy, a brilliant compromise between the modern demand for cinematics and Zelda tradition. Highly detailed and emotive character animations move the cutscenes along as you click through the text boxes. There's more voice work this time around, though nothing in the way of traditional voice acting, and Skyward proves it's not necessary to achieve a stirring, cinematic experience. Skyward Sword marks something Zelda fans have wanted for years, a return to the strategy and difficulty of old. Each enemy is like its own puzzle, requiring your attention and skill to figure out how to defeat it. Each hit from an enemy takes off an entire heart, and even common Dekubabas and Bakoblins are aggressive and highly defensive. It's an absolute thrill learning and exploiting all of their weaknesses. The stamina bar is also a worthy addition. This meter is an extra factor to calculate for when climbing or battling. It lends immediacy to the whole experience and helps make for the most well-balanced Zelda game in years. The Motion Plus technology works like an absolute dream. Seriously, don't expect to waggle your way through this one. You waggle, you die. End of story. Honestly, I never thought motion controls could be comparable to traditional ones, but Skyward more than proved me wrong. Flying with Motion Plus is nothing short of euphoric. As much as I love Epona, I found soaring through the gorgeous clouds even more thrilling. Skyward further shakes up the traditional Zelda formula by having the overworld act as something of a dungeon itself. This means the transition from dungeon to overworld to dungeon is amazingly smooth and engaging. The sheer amount of things to do is also mind-boggling, especially since I've still only scratched the surface of this game. From more things to collect than ever before, to endless side missions, to the ability to upgrade all of your items, this is the fullest Zelda game to date. This paired with the presentation makes for a package that feels like A Link to the Past meets Ocarina of Time, but with enormous scale. And trust me, I do not say that lightly. So far, Skyward Sword is a fitting way to cap off 25 years of The Legend of Zelda, and I simply can't wait to see how the adventure ends. If it keeps it up, it may just be the best Zelda game to date. For more on Skyward Sword, including our full review on November 11th, keep it locked on IGN.com.